So I've always loved landscape painting and that is really what kicked me off. That's what started me off on painting. I was brought up in the country and um, what I love about landscape painting, I suppose, is this space and the texture, the tension between, in particular with painting, with, between surface and depth, materiality of paint, and the depth that's suggested in the painting, the space. I was invited to do a big exhibition in China. So I went to China in 2007 and did a big solo exhibition there. I then got myself a studio and it was in an old barn with a leaking roof and very dusty and certainly a dangerous roof. But I had this wonderful large space on the top of a hill, very solitary, and I could focus on the uh, interests I had in painting. And um, loving landscape painting as I do, in particular I love Chinese landscape painting. And this has a sense of uh, remoteness and no man's land, no man's space. Um, but it's a, it's a parallel life, a, a, a reality, not an escape. Um, and I don't think of art really as, a, as an escape, but more a plunge into a, into a reality. And um, those paintings, those landscape painters in China, had for me a great sense of empathy with an emotional condition. And I thought that's what landscape painting could do. Now, of course, I can't do it like that. I don't want to do it like that. I'm a Westerner, a European, and I'm living in a different time. But nonetheless, uh, these paintings can have a resonance for us today. And I felt that very strongly looking at, um, at these land early landscape paintings, particularly from the Song Dynasty. That's from that 12th, 11th century. The word for Chinese, for landscape painting in China, is san shui, which means mountain water. So it was always a combination or a harmonizing of two uh, opposing elements. And I love that idea, and that's fed into my painting. Here was a landscape painting that seemed to be um, the kind of landscape painting I was looking for, really. The kind of space it had, the wildness, the sense of um, the kind of parallel life, which is what it is. Um, rather than something that's political or to do with ownership. And when I was drawn to that, I studied it for a while um, for my own personal interest as a painter, how the space works, how the metaphors work, I suppose, in the landscape painting. So before I went to China, I always had huts in the painting like these, and. Uh, um, fences, but when I went to China and uh, I collected a, a couple of other motifs, particularly steps and um, chairs, very prevalent in China, and Chongqing is a mountain city, so uh, there's lots of steps there, and it's part of the environment. It, climbing up and down steps is, is the life in Chongqing. And the paintings there were much more... Uh, Misty. The atmosphere in China is misty. It's, uh, some people say it's uh, concrete dust in the air because of the endless development and building going on. But the atmosphere is a sort of greyness um, very often in, Chi in Chongqing. And that influenced the, the painting I was doing there. I was mixing concrete dust into the paint. I was, I was dusting it onto the wet surface sometimes. So there's a veil of this dust on a textured surface and the texture and the um, and the sense of space began to be more played out in the paintings in China and now I've come back to England and I've found this beautiful new studio in a new building um, couldn't be more of a contrast really because the light is sharper here uh, there's no longer the dust in the air and the greyness and that has um, influenced the sharpness of the colour for one thing and the tonal contrast but also the honing in on the textures in a way that I was honing in on the motifs in China but I've come back here now the motifs are there they're going to be endlessly renewable I feel um, there's so many more things so many more kinds of perception to deal with but uh, the textures and the um, dustiness are still something I want to uh, I will play with in the painting.
the motifs are definitely coming out of the experience of being in China. And I have my own version, I would say, of San Shui, uh, mountain water, in that my spaces are one thing, and as soon as a motif gets in there, it's a structure that's it, that tension with the space. So I've got the two opposites there, in a way, uh, coming together, harmonizing, perhaps challenging each other. The space challenging the object, the object challenging the space.